Hey YouTube, um, it's time for my weekly haul video. I said I was just going to be doing hauls once a week, so this is this week's. Um, I've bought a few things myself this week um, that I ordered last month in, September, in August. If you follow my blog, you'll know I've restarted my spending diet this month. Um, so I've only actually bought one of the things um, in September myself. The rest were ordered in uh, August, so they're counting as part of August. And I've also got some stuff that my mum bought for me as well. Um, I hope the camera's okay. I might have to fiddle with it. I don't think it's quite in the right position today. Um, yeah, so um, I'll start off with some things I had ordered. Um, I bought a few bits from a shop called Fragrance Direct. Sorry, I've put everything behind it and I can't actually reach it. And I'm sitting on it. Right. Right, a few things from a shop called Fragrance Direct. They're an online shop in the UK. They sell fragrance, perfume, makeup. It's usually discounted stuff, so I bought a few bits. Um, one of the things I got was some Rose & Co. Seaweed Bath, which is supposed to be good for detox detoxifying and refreshing. So hopefully I'm going to use this before I've got my holidays, so it might help get me like, sort of circulation going and things. I haven't smelt it yet, but I'm assuming it's powder. Sounds like powder sachet, so yeah, got that. I also bought some uh, few bits of makeup. They generally do a lot of cheaper discount brands, discontinue things, and they had some NYX. So I got the Glitter Cream Palette. I'm sorry, it looks a bit mank, I've been swatching it. And this is Glitter Cream Palette 01, which is paradise. You get pink, like a black, a white, a gold and a silver and they've all got like iridescent glitter in them I've done some swatches but they're not going to probably show up too well I'll put them on my blog to see if they're any better um, that's the pink, that's the black, that's the white one and they're the gold and silver ones at the bottom I don't know how well you're going to see those I don't really have, I don't really have a clue what I'm going to use it for but it looks like fun, it might be good for Christmas or something um, then I bought some uh, what um, eyeshadow products I'm really into cream and eyeshadow. I'm sorry, I'm absolutely boiling here. We're actually getting summer in September. Um, I bought a few uh, eyeshadow products. I'm really liking cream products, be it blush, eyeshadow at the moment. So I got the Maybelline Dream Mousse Eye Colour in number seven, which is Divine Lilac. And um, that's what it looks like. I like moussey ones. Um, I've already got a swatch on my own, but I'll have to put a bit more on because it's coming off. There. That one there, it'll probably appear blue on the camera, but it's it's like a really pale lilac cream colour. Um, I really like these actually. I got I bought one a while, a while ago. Um, bought a set and it had one in, which I've actually ended up using it as a blush and a highlighter as opposed to um, an eye colour because it's pale pink. Um, but I really like these. I have to say I really like these. Um, and then I also got one of these, which is the Rimmel Colour Mousse 8 hour, 8 hours and it's in 009 Pewter. Now this is a completely different texture to the Maybelline mousse. I'll try and show you. It's got one of the little inner caps in, but really hard to get off. There we go. It's, as you can see, it's a lot more creamier and a lot runnier in the consistency. Um, as a result, it's a lot more pigmented. Um, try and get the lid back on. That's it there. It's a nice sort of silvery pewter shades, which I really like silver shades. Um, so yeah, that was all I got from them. I also had an order which came from Urban Outfitters. Um, I haven't got an Urban Outfitters near me, but I think the closest one's possibly going to be Birmingham. Um, maybe Leeds, but we, uh, we're we hopefully getting one in Newcastle in the next year or so. It's supposedly going where the green market is, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed for next year. So let's have a look. What did I get? I got two tops from the sale. This one... I really have no idea why I bought. It's pretty, but I, it's not very me, but I think it was only 9 99 And it's this. It's a floral tank. I don't know, I don't know how well you can see, but it's covered in tiny little sequins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know why I bought it, but it is quite pretty, and it's quite a long one, so I can probably wear it as a tunic. It might come in handy come Christmas or even in or something. I've got an 80th pop birthday party to go to soon, so yeah, it's probably that. I also got another vest. I love these type with the ruffles on, and this is this one, and khaki. It's by a brand called Kimchi Blue. 
and I think that was uh, 9.99 as well I think from the sale so I really like that the khaki colour again it's nice and long I love long vests and tops then I also got this which is actually it's a letter rack um, blue metal uh, sort of turquoise teal metal with butterflies on and I didn't actually get it to use as a letter rack I've got it so I can put some of my palettes in that I'm using most often so I've, I've got so I'll put some palettes in there um right what else um that was all I got from Urban Outfitters um I got my mum something which is a jewellery box for her birthday that birthday next week um and I'll right onto the stuff that I've, uh yeah onto the stuff my mum bought me I went to the Asda yesterday um just to do some shopping and I got this it's Hello Kitty it's a long line uh, sort of tunic top with three quarter sleeves the navy blue it says J'aime Paris or oh, J'aime Paris um, I really like that and I love Hello Kitty and it was originally £10 but it was reduced to 5 Um so I got that it was a, a stripy one in a different design which I quite liked as well but it didn't have my size so I got this one I actually got this in a size bigger but I thought it'd be nice for the winter, just nice and cosy and a bit slouchy. So my mum was very kind enough to buy me that. So I was very, very nice. Nice mummy. Um, right, so, um, yeah. After I'd been at Asda, I had one of the £5 Boots number no. 7 vouchers to use. You number 7 Ruby and Millie. They expire on the 12th of September, so if you've still got one, get it used. And I went to buy a blusher. Originally I wanted another cream blusher, but the boots I went to was a little one. It only had a little number no. 7 selection. Um, so I ended up getting one of the normal blushes and I got this one which is like a peachy corally colour and it's called number 12 uh, Coral Flush and um, that's the swatch of it there that's quite a dark swatch but it, it, it blends out really nicely and this is actually really nice quality I was surprised at how nice and pigmented this was and with the voucher I think I only paid £3.75 for that so I really like that and my final thing that I got this week, um, well, it was towards the end of last week actually, but I um, haven't got around to doing it until now, was my Urban Decay Naked palette. Now, I said I'd do a little video on this. I'm actually wearing some of the colours from it at the moment, which I'll put on my blog. But, um, yeah, I got my Naked palette. There we go. I must just say, I'm absolutely loving this. I actually wore a cover colour from it in my video yesterday, which was Gunmetal, one of the grey shades. And I'm loving this palette. I've used most of the colours already it's just a really good all-rounder I'm not going to swatch it here but um, at the end of this video I'm actually going to put some photos that I've taken if, you have, if you're not sick of it already I've taken some photos with some swatches and things so you can have a better look at it so I'll include those at the end of the video so that was my haul I can't see us having a huge amount of hauls because I'm going on holiday at the beginning of October so I'm trying to save a bit of money this month so I'm not planning on buying anything much really yeah plans of mice and men i probably will buy something but if i do i'll let you know um but otherwise yeah that's pretty much it as i say put some photos of the naked palette in um i'll put some links to my blog below so you can actually see the makeup that i'm wearing today because i had some nice nice comments about yesterday's makeup so thank you very much for that um but yeah if ever i do a video i'll normally do a face of the day on my blog to go with what i'm wearing just to let you know so yeah, um, next video planned is my perfume collection video. I've been doing a bit of research on this and it's long overdue. So I'll try and get that up for you next week. So yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions on anything I bought or my mum bought me, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.